A talented athlete, Kiara Stewart, was excited to learn how to skateboard. When an older, married man promised to teach her, she jumped at the chance. But everything changed when he sent the then 15-year-old explicit photos. He only spent two weeks in jail. She's scared to go outside. It's hard. It's very hard, but I'll push through it. Words of resilience. Brett Daly, Brett, Simon Boda from A Current Affair, Brett. Actions of a coward. I want to talk to you about Kiara, mate. What do you have got to say about Kiara? One word, pedophile. Never forgive him. Kiara Stewart is a schoolgirl whose innocence has been stolen. Kiara, what's this done to your life? I feel like it's taken my teen years from me and made me, like, scared of the world. I actually cried for her because I thought she's been exposed to something that she doesn't need to be exposed to at that age. It happened when Kiara was 15 years old, sent obscene text messages by this man, married father, Brett Daly. Sending her, a teenage girl, naked photos of yourself? Really? No kid deserves to go through wood, like sexual things and being sent that content and everything. Kiara contacted a current affair, upset Dally was locked up for just two short weeks for his crimes. Her email was raw and honest. I'm the victim of child grooming. I am now in great fear of my safety and feel like I have been led down by the court system. With her mum's approval and advice. with legal advice, Kiara bravely told us her story. You're just so young, but you're so brave. She's braver than any 16-year-old I know. Mm. She's got the strength and determination to make sure it doesn't happen again to anybody else. Kiara met Dally in a local skate park near her home late last year. She wanted to learn to skateboard. He offered to teach her. I thought he was normal. I thought he was no a normal man with kids. I just, I didn't think anything of him. So I just continued to talk to him. Then the text messages started coming, signed with love heart emojis. Every text he added love hearts or kissing faces. So I thought it was a bit weird in a way for a dad to be sending a 15 year old girl hearts and kisses. They became more personal, shirtless photos taken in the gym. It just started becoming weirder. He used to send weird messages and just like paragraphs and he used to FaceTime me. Must is how Dally even sent Kiara the lyrics to Celine Dion's hit, The Power of Love. Then, early one morning, the 36-year-old crossed the line. And then he went to shirtless, shirtless pictures on Snapchat, to sexual images, which I mean nudes. It was sent at 5am that morning, Dally blaming an ex-girlfriend. A girlfriend of mine's been logging into my Snapchat and pretending to be me, sending everybody on my contact list all different stuff impersonating me. Kiara replied... She sent me a photo of you and I didn't know what to say to it. It was this. I knew something was up because you wouldn't send that to me. Oh, dear God. Dally wrote. What the actual <laughs> Now I'm super, super angry. <laughs> Make it go away. Dally even told Kiara he had complained to the police. The then 15-year-old told her mum, Nicole, who urged her to go to the police. After his arrest, Dally changed his story, admitting that he sent the naked photo to Kiara, but claimed he was drunk and sent it accidentally. It was meant for another woman. Dally was charged with and pleaded guilty to using a carriage service to menace, harass, offend, and intentionally do sexual act with a child under 16. He was sentenced to seven months jail. He appealed, claiming it was too severe and he had mental health issues.
disgusting. Four months non-parole. He didn't even serve his four months. He was out within two weeks. It's wrong. It's like absolutely wrong. Like, I'm scared to go in public because of that man, but he's been let free. In court, Daly was supported by his wife and child. During the appeal, Judge Tanya Smith said, He isn't recognising what he is actually here for, which is exposing an underage girl to images of himself. Children are there to be protected. They are not there to be the object of anyone's sexual conduct. The judge reduced the sentence to a three-year community service order and directed he complete 350 hours community service work. The stewards are now worried for other young girls in the area. What if it's another girl that's younger and doesn't know any different and doesn't come forward? A current affair tracked Daly to an address in southwestern Sydney not far from where Kiara lives. She's frightened she might bump into him in the street. I'm not going to approach him. I'm just most likely to walk away, but it, it's hard. Brett Daly. Brett, Simon Boda from A Current Affair, Brett. Mate, I want to talk to you about Ki Kiara, mate. What do you got to say about Kiara? When Daly mate, spotted our cameras, he was like a yourself. rabbit caught in the really? headlights. Don't you want to say sorry to her? Kiara was a promising athlete, her future bright. She'd earned a scholarship at an acclaimed Sydney sports high school. I couldn't go out the house for like a month and I was just scared to communicate with other people. And it stopped me training from athletics. It just made me very scared. How would you describe the impact this has had on her? It shattered her. It shattered her. She doesn't go out with friends anymore. She doesn't train as she was every day. Kiara wants Daly thrown back in jail. I just feel like it's important to get this guy back in jail so he doesn't do it to anyone else. That takes courage and well done Kiara. A tough story to share but really important. And since Kiara spoke to a current affair, she says she now has the strength to get back on the athletics track. She hopes telling her story encourages others to stand up and speak out.